welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to another episode of cooking if you are new here thank you so much karibu to sana please make sure you subscribe and if it's not your first time here thank you for the support uh, subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up so in today's video we are going to prepare biryani na si biryani tu but biryani on a budget because most of us huogopa kupika biryani because tunaona biryani is very expensive na iko na vitu vingi but leo naonesha that you can make biryani with only 380 shillings only 380 shillings na unakula biryani kama una family na mna shiba and i'm also sorry for the echo you niko chooni hapo ndo nimepata lighting poor so yeah uh, i tried making this budget in a separate video but i'm going to insert it na yeah without wasting more time acha niwapeleke jikoni ingredients na hii ndio ilikuwa budget yangu ya yeah, 380 shillings kwa the previous video ilikuwa 385 but nili nili make some corrections na ikakuja 380 shillings so tunaanza na rice rice yetu ni hii kuna mchele tofauti sana kuna sindano yenye unapata na 120 per kilo na nusu inakuja 60 bob kuna biryani yenye ni 90 bob per kilo nusu napata na 45 bob so hii yangu ni sindano and it's 60 bob half a kg budget yangu ya nyama ilikuwa 100 ndio hiyo but sijui mtu wa bucha leo ameona mbili mbili ama ameniona na kachanganyikiwa cuz nimemwambia nipimie nyama ya mia na amenikia hii yote hadi akakatakata eh sijui haku hakukumbuka kama nimemwekea ya mia but um, ameniuliza ya mia nikamwambia yes na amenikia hii yote so na si mtu wini nyama ya mia yeah next ish tuko na maziwa mala maziwa mala ndogo ni 45 bob na ndo haya mala tuko na tomatoes na tomato paste tomatoes sijui kwenu mna uzuaje but kwetu hizi nimepata na 20 bob nimenua kwa masai kwa hero labda amenipunguzia i don't know ama ameni amenigonga but tomatoes for 20 bob tomato paste sote tunajua this is 15 bob onions let me see for onions ni make up kitunguu moja onions 5 each na kuja 20 bob ndio hii viazi 3 at 20 bob tuko na dania ni 5 bob Tuko na carrot ni 10 bob. Tuko na Let me see. Hii kitungu saumu nzima huko 20 bob but this half in half it's 10 bob. Let me see ginger. Ginger 5 bob. Huyu hero ataniambia ni kwa nini ananunzia vitu hivi. Mimi naona ni kama anakula sara but do I care? And then we have hoho pilipili boga 5 each tuko na food color hii hata ni rangi ya viazi hii ni 5 bob tuko na chumvi unaweza patata bure dukani hii 
kuwa na mafuta ya kupikia mafuta ya uto robo ni 35 sijui kwa nini how much but this is 35 and we have spices hizi ni dawa za pilau 5 bob 5 bob so zote ni 10 bob ndo hii yeah i think that's all hizo ndo vitu zetu zote zenye tutapikia nazo so nitaenda kuziosha nizikate cut and then tuje tuanze kupika so <coughs> nimeshaka takata vitu zetu hizo pilipili boga na dania vitunguu unafaa kukata slices hivi juu tutafry na ikiwezekana vikate size moja ndio kama una fry vinaiva wakati mmoja yeah na tuko na tomato zenye nime blend na nimechanganya na tomato paste nika blend pamoja tuko na pilau masala ama pilau hiyo spices nimeshazi saga nikapata unga na tuko na carrots zenye nimesha great so tutaanza kuchemsha nyama zetu ndio hizi nimeshaziosha na nitaika kitungu saumu na tangawizi lakini sitaika yote nitaika tu kiasi kama hivi na nitaika na chumvi ukiwa na spices zingine pia unaweza but hapa tutaweka kumbuka tunapika biryani on a budget na watu wengine hawana hizo spices so nitachemsha nyama tu na hiyo kitungu saumu na tangawizi iliyobondwa na chumvi yeah tazichemsha mtazichemsha mpaka ziive Nyama zetu zikiendelea kuchemka, tutaanza kukaranga vitungu vyetu na nimeshabandika mafuta kwa moto na yameshika moto. So tutavikaranga vitungu ndo hivi. tutavikaranga mpaka vikuwe golden brown. Please kama unakaranga vitunguu usikarange mpaka vikaungua juu biryani yako itakuwa itakuwa chungu. So tutavitoa. Tuvieke hapa kwa kwa kitchen roll ndo vikaokea mafuta excess. mafuta tuko na viazi vyetu hapa tutaika tutaika food color yetu then tuta tutavipepeta pepeta tutavipepeta vishkane na hii rangi then tutavikaranga kwa hayo mafuta tutavipika mpaka vikue eh, half kuiva half cooked visiive kabisa. Alafu pia umuhimu wa kukaranga viazi 
ni uki eh wa have vurugiki wa binabaki tu intact alafu rangi pia haita haita toka so ni vizuri vikarangi tutangoja nyama zetu zikauke maji. Alafu hapa nimebandika maji ya mchele. Taacha achemke nikiosha mchele wangu. Mchele mchele wangu ndio huu. Na nitauosha mpaka kama mara tano hivi mpaka maji ya kuwe masafi kabisa ya kuwe clear yani. Alafu tutakuja kuendelea kupika huu. Mchele ndio huu umeshaoshwa. Then mchele wangu nimepima na hii glass. Nimepata glass mbili ya hii mchele na nimetumia glasses nne ya maji ya the same glass. So huwa ni hivi, kama mchele umepima hii glass moja, unaweka maji mara mbili yake. So one glass of rice equals to two glasses of water. Two glasses of rice equals to four glasses of water ndo hivyo Nyama yetu imekauka sasa ndio tunaoka Alafu tutaanza kuweka vitu vyetu This is the simplest way ya kutengeneza rojo ya biryani. So nitaika kitungu sau na tangawizi. Tika carrots. Hoho na dania wengine huweka dania mwisho but mimi hutumia ile style ya kutumbukiza kila kitu Tuteka mala You see, I keep sink. You know, you know. Na tuko na blended tomatoes na tomato paste. Pilau masala. and some salt and then the skoroga pamoja Nyewe mafuta tumeka rangi ya viazi na vitunguu so nitaeka tu kidogo. finika ya chitokoti
mafuta ni yale tumekarangia vitunguu na viazi pia utaika hapa chemshe mchele alafu huwa napenda kuchemsha mchele wangu na na iliki nimeshazitoa tembe hizi ni iliki focus hivyo so nitaika tu hapa na nifinike niache hii ive paka ikauke ikauke maji kiasi chele tumekauka umekauka maji but si sana kiasi tu bado kidogo so tuteka tutakoroga rangi yetu ama food color yetu na tuje tuweke this is the food color nimekoroga na maji so tutaanza kuniuzia kwa mchele natengeneza nafasi ndio ni mwagide hii rangi ndio pia uko chini ifike vizuri alafu tutapunguza moto hapa kwa mchele na tufinike tuache ukauke kabisa then hapa kwa rojo letu tumefikia key point yakauka kabisa so tutaika viazi vyetu na vitunguu sokoroga Emo galie ni nyama, hii nyama ni mafuta matupu ya. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. 
ilikuwa imeanguka but tumeipata taika hapa kando mimi kwenda mafuta so nitaikula hivyo hivyo ikiwa imeanguka chini ah sasa hapa tutakoroga na nimepunguza moto huko chini na tuache viazi vyetu vive kabisa sasa Chile <laughs> tuko tayari mashakauka So nitawepua na niweke kando Changinyezi ya ndimu kiasi ndo ikatea mafuta nyako hapa But limesha iva Tutalikoroga kama dakika moja tu hivi. Hii ndimu iende kila mahali. Taratibu sio ka kavunja tukavunja ukavu, ukavu, viazi ya. Ukavivuruga yani. Then tutazima moto na tutaanza kupakua. Tutaanza kupakua mchele wetu. na hii liki imefanya unanukia vizuri yani alafu tutaika rojo letu ndio ile biryani letu sasa biryani inafaa ikuwe kamili sasa tutaeka pilipili ya kukaranga na ini kachumbari hizi ndio zinakamilisha biryani then Ukitaka unaweza kunywa na juisi ya ukwaju ile ya donge donge ile si mnanielewa ama juisi eh, juisi yoyote ya passion ya mango ama ukunywe na soda pia haijalishi but biryani letu ndio hili limeiva na ni tamu i just can't wait to to eat thank you so much for watching i hope mtajaribu hii recipe ni rahisi na hitaji vitu vingi it's very simple and very delicious thank you and see you in my next video bye